he can start very, very fast. Two of his first round knockouts, they've happened within 38 seconds. seconds. So we'll find out something very, very shortly. But Savage is no mug. I was speaking to Ben Davison just before this fight. And this is not an easy opponent at all for Alois Jr. He's got amateur pedigree. Only recently he was still fighting as an amateur, but he's taken one there from Alois Jr. When you mention Ben Davidson, ben Davidson I saw him in the corner then. He's, he's going to bring something different to Alois in terms of patience, in terms of the work that he's doing, working behind the jab, keeping we the range. Time, but he did it to me, the right hook earlier on. He seemed to get through the right hook, didn't he? And oh, there is the left hook, and my goodness, my goodness, that is a one punch. Six, well, he's got up, seven, Savage has got up, eight, but I think Savage has found himself in three. there with a Savage. Alois Jr. had him floored with that left hook. Oh. Goodness me. And he's down again. Oh, I don't two, think he's getting up this three, time. Four, five, As Alois Jr. Six, smashes his seven, guts together. Eight, he is not going to get up nine, from this. That ten. is yet another first round knockout from an animal from Penge who is making more and more noise in this cruiserweight division. That was unbelievable. Excellent. Devastating. Very explosive, clean as well. Took a bit of a risk here with an opponent like this who has got good amateur background. It was only last year that the guy that he's fought lost a split decision to a guy who went on to become a world amateur champion. This is by far the toughest test so far of Alloy's career and he's got him out of there in the first round. You saw really only I think he caught him in the right hook. Yeah. Just let him know he's got a bit of power. But then that left hook that he brought to him, bam, straight down. But it's fair play to the lad, <laughs> very tough. He was, he was up, he got up. But that second one, yes. I think it hurt him to his core. You could see uh, he, he, he was wincing, he, wasn't he? He winced in yeah. pain on the ground. And when they hit you like that, you know they've got some devastating power, which he obviously has. Well, you could tell on his ring walk, Nathan, you picked up on it. There, there was something about the, the kind of menace that Alloy's had about him tonight. He wanted to do a demolition job. Just focus. Walk into the ring calm, but you could see he was extremely focused. Well, let's head over to the final word from our MC, Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, two seconds of round number one. Our referee in charge. A knockout it was from Alloys Jr. 